Hello, it's Don Marco. I'm back again, and this is another video. And in today's video, what we're up to is we've come down to a place in Taipei City called Dihua Street. And the reason we've come to Dihua Street today is because they've got they have a famous Chinese New Year goods market on every year in this location. And in my opinion, this is the most popular uh, Chinese New Year market in Taipei. We're going to walk around. I'm going to try and show you the different stands, what's on in the New Year's goods market. This is one of my favorite things to do in Taipei, actually, come to this market. So let's get into it. Let's see what they've got this year and let's have a look. One quick thing I've got to add before we go any further in the market is I've started somewhat in the middle because of where I parked my scooter. I, it took a while to find a space because the area is quite busy as you could imagine. So where I found a space, I've parked down in an alleyway. Uh, it's a proper space, it's not illegal parking. But uh, I cut through the alley and I've ended up in the middle of the market. So I'm gonna start from the middle, walk down one end, up the other end, come back round to the middle, and then cut back through the alley I came through and go home. That's the plan. Here is all different kinds of dried seafood. I normally don't like to eat this. I don't like how it tastes, but it's really popular. Sweets are uh, very popular to buy in the Chinese New Year because they have all, they always have like sweets for Chinese New Year. It's a tradition, so there'll be a lot of stands selling sweets. The road down here, this actually looks like the start and point. So it looks like I've went to the middle and walked back to the start and point. And then further down, down that way, I don't know if you can make it out in the camera, but down that way, that it go, the market goes all the way down the street. So I'm gonna head all the way down there too. Here they're writing uh, New Year, New Year messages on the red envelopes. It's a tradition for Chinese New Year. You can write all different kinds of messages, whatever you want. These are like little mahjong pieces. Them probably for good luck or something. Up here, they've got the big signs. These are like for hanging on your door and your wall and that. These are this is some kind of herb. I don't really understand the Chinese for this one, but it's it's some kind of herb. I'm, I'm gonna try it to see what it's like. All right, I've got the free sample of the little herb drink here. Let's see how it tastes. It's, it's really hot. I can feel it on my hand, it's hot. Mm, that is, that is nice, that. Gui, Gui Reni Herlu, Shushama. Bukai Chushadzu. Shadza Gorming. Okay, thank you. Shishini. Someone tried to give me some shrimps. Shrimps on the enemy. That's nice, that. Right now, I've just got to the entrance. You can see the lanterns behind me head. This is the entrance to the market on Dihua Street. Now I'm going to turn around and walk back down to the other side. Let's see what I can see on the way back down. One of my favorite things about coming here is all the free tasters actually. Not because I just want stuff for free, but because it really gives you an idea of what kind of things you like and what kind of things you don't like. And then in the future, 
you know what you would like to buy if you want to buy like a, a bag of sweets or a bag of nuts or a bag of uh, some kind of local Taiwanese snacks that means so this way you can really find out which ones you like and which ones you don't like This little area here looks quite nice with how they put all these lanterns up. So many people are coming here and taking photos with the lanterns. I've just got to the nuts. This is the one where you see all the, uh, all the grannies giving it a taste and that. I just saw a guy have a taste, let's have a taste. I picked up a nut. Huh? Huashen. This is Huashen. It's a uh, peanuts. Yes, Do Huashen ma. Yes, Huashen. Oh. Yes. 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 All right, I'm going to try the peanuts. Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh, you need a Kai. Well, <laughs> no, Oh, I can't do that. What a yacha, Bruha. Not good. It's all the same shop? Yeah. It's like this red is our Oh. Wearing the even the other ones, right? Yeah, yeah. We have a five store. <coughs> this one is the pig one. Do you like it? It's what? Pig. It's Rosong ma. Uh, it's a little Okay, I try a little. You can try. It's a little bit of You can't really see it. Try this. Don't know if you can see. Two rows. Two rows. Churro sure, whatever that is. Some kind of pig, dried pig. Not for me. Not for me. <laughs> What is it? Chushu Shama. Try. So I got this to try. It's sticky, whatever it is. I'm going to try this. I don't know what it is. Maybe someone can tell us. That's not for me either. Like. So this is what I've just tried. I'm not sure what it is. So I don't know what I just tried. It was okay. I wouldn't say it was great or bad. And it had like a soft squishy texture. And it was sweet. And a lot of people seem interested in it. But I don't know what it is. Now I'm trying to just shimmy a little further up the street. And that is the view behind us. Taiwanese nugget here.
there's a fair coke pulled in the nugget so they've got different flavors of nugget Taiwan makes very good nugget this one is almond oh and here come the free taster peanuts strawberry mango now I'm gonna try this little piece of nugget she gave us let's see how this tastes mm, it's all right I don't know what flavor she gives us but it's not too bad mm. Some kind of meat here. Shishima. Rogan. More jerky to try. Oh, it's not for me jerky like. Tastes special than the other one though. I think I would actually eat that style of jerky to be honest. I've nearly made it to the other end of the street now and I feel like I've had it had me dinner. So if you look down there, you'll see what I mean. There's a road there. I thought this road was the end, but it goes on over the road. So we'll uh, check the other side of the road. I think that's just one more road to the market. So we'll check what it is. But before I go any further, there's a bit of commotion at this stand here. Whatever they're looking at seem popular. So I'm gonna have myself a little look at this. I really don't know what that is. No. So here is the sign saying what people are buying. Whatever it is, it seems really popular, but I can't read it. So it doesn't matter. All right, I picked a bit up. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to eat it. So here we go. I'm going to shove it in my mouth. It's not so bad, actually. It's a little bit sour. Whatever it is, I like it. looks like the mangoes is it mango or fungli mango ma so this is mango let's try the dried mango while I'm at it eh it's alright not the best so this is the dried fruit shop dried lemon is so good it's lemon, right? Yeah. Okay, so I got lemon. I'm gonna try the dried lemon. Actually, I like dried lemon, so let's see how the dried lemon tastes. It's not swan enough. Swan means sour, by the way. I like it to be really sour. This one is kiwi. Key dried kiwi. I'll show you here because it kind of the, the camera the camera can it really focus on the one piece. So this is called Sanyao or something. I got the Sanyao. I'm gonna eat it. A bit like a crisp. They made it a bit like a crisp. Dried ginger. Just dried ginger tastes like. Can I try the ginger? Thank you. I'm gonna try dry ginger because I've never tried it before. Let's give it a whirl. 
dry ginger has a bit of a kick to it like you can really feel the spiciness in it oh <laughs> I decided I'm gonna get a pick, bit of a pick and mix, but I'm not gonna go Raj. And go Raj means go crazy for people not from Newcastle. So these ones. Oh, you can try it. Oh, a couple of those. With some jellies. The girl said, I can try the ones I wanna buy. And then if I like them, I can hide them in my bag. One of those bad boys. I used to love those at school. She's here. Bye bye. Right, that's the end of this video. This has been the Taipei Chinese New Year Goods Market. And I hope I've given you a feel of what it's like down here to come to the Chinese New Year Goods Market and what kind of things you can buy here. And if you're in Taipei, around the Chinese New Year time this is a good place to check out I'm gonna call it a night and go back home and get on with me evening and I will uh, see you next time so thanks very much for watching this video have a good 2023 I hope everyone has a blast and uh, just have a good one everyone see you later